sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right. Justin Bieber comes at Eminem, says Eminem has a nice flow, but he got to stop dissing modern rappers. Like Lil Xan, who was at Lil Pump, because he doesn't understand uh, them doesn't mean they're whack. I guess that's what he pointed out too. But we back. Good for us, Sports TV. We in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, yeah, you're right. I, I'm 30. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand these modern day rappers. You know, it used to be about being a server, not being a custo. Now everybody a custo, and you, you know, Justin Bieber really don't think it's wrong. With a guy named Lil Xan at the Xanax, a little guy named Lil Pump talking about taking his, his grandma, his auntie meds, and getting high off medical, uh, you know, meds. I mean, come on, anybody don't think it's weird that these modern day rappers wearing purses? People don't think think it's weird that these modern day rappers getting their fingernails painted. Like, come on, it, it ain't about understanding. What Eminem is trying to do is the power that's been bestowed, that's been you know, put on him to why he's alive uphold hip-hop and rap to a certain standard you know what i'm saying and you got to hold it to a certain standard because if he, if he don't hold it to a certain standard jay don't hold it to a certain standard then pretty much what's, what's happening right now is they're gonna go ahead and pretty much destroy the hip-hop culture they gentrifying these neighborhoods and they gonna gentrify um hip-hop you know what i'm saying they're already doing it you know what i'm saying ain't, ain't nobody in the day used to wear fanny packs ain't none of these dudes just have purse straps across of them Ain't nothing, you think Tupac would be wearing Gucci after what Gucci said? No. So at the end of the day, Justin Bieber need to realize, like, you really don't have no place in hip-hop. You know, after that whole little racist rant he went on, you shouldn't even be talking about black people. You shouldn't even be talking about rap. You shouldn't even be talking to Eminem. You shouldn't even be protecting Lil Pump Lil Zane. You need to be protecting yourself. Because when he went to the hood, I think it was L.A., he got caught lacking. They made him do push-ups. He got off easy. You know what I'm saying? And I just seen that video he did again. And, you know, I don't even understand how people, you know, black people still could support him and be a patron of Justin Bieber. But like I said before, Lil Van, don't know who he is, Lil Pump. Like, that's not what hip-hop about. Hip-hop is about, you know, uh, your surroundings. It's about, you know, expressing yourself. And if they expect themselves to be crackheads, so be it. But Eminem White, right, keep dissing these, these, these whack rappers, man. There's no place in, 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 in hip-hop for them. You know, hip hop used to be about the product of your environment. If you had the trap, well, okay, you rapped about trapping. It's always been studio gangsters in hip hop. It's always been guys exaggerated, said they moved so much stuff, but they didn't really move nothing, or they moved a bag, or they sold a nigga back. Okay, I understand that, but at some point, when people coming into our culture and they playing whack record, whack music on the, on the radio, they allowing strippers to blow up and push their music and have a thousand writers for them. Like, at the end of the day, like, it ain't really never been like that. And it shouldn't be like that. So it's not a misunderstanding. It's not a disconnect. Like, they're destroying the culture. And everybody know they're destroying the culture. People, and then, you know, people with just so much followers, if they see one guy with a purse on, another guy going to be with a purse on, and then you got these mothers that treat their uh, sons like, uh, like their boyfriends. They put a purse on them. They put a fanny pack on them. They got bad grades. They go get to Jordan. So at the end of the day, Justin Bieber shouldn't even be talking about hip hop. He shouldn't even be speaking on hip hop after what he said. His little rant. He shouldn't be speaking on no issues that's doing that got to do with our culture. Michael Rappaport should be able to speak on that before him. But at the same time, Eminem right, like dude, you, you know they trying to act, they supposed to act like these these new dudes supposed to come in the game and mess it up. And no other point in time has you seen uh, other rappers really you know do that. You didn't see that through from the eighties to the nineties. You didn't see Run DMC or you didn't see uh, cool, uh, 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 cool Mo D and a Grandmaster Flash and the Furious. You didn't see them dissing the 90 rappers like this. You didn't see them dissing, oh, you know, they need to pay. No, they always pay homage to them. You didn't have an issue with the 80s and the 90s rappers. You know what I'm saying? Even the not 80s rappers that tried to cross over to the 90s that didn't really kind of make the cut. They didn't really go on an onslaught and attacking the 90 rappers. You didn't see the 90 rappers attacking the early 2000 rappers. You know what I'm saying? You didn't hear the gangster rappers. It's, you know, Cube and, and Mac-10 and Dub C and, and DJ Quick and, you know, uh, the, or Dre. You didn't see them really attacking the trap rappers and T.I. 
Jeezy, Gucci, they embrace that new genre of gangster music. You see what I'm saying? You didn't really have a lot of that going on from 09. All of a sudden that you got guys wearing purses, you got guys that don't have no bars. They see what they do on the real hip hop. They trying to deteriorate hip hop and use hip hop to destroy the black culture. That's what they doing. And they doing a good successful job of it because now you got guys wearing pink girl clothes, wearing purses, fanny packs, tight jeans. Like at least I thought they would have tight jeans to sag and to stop. You already saw it's a yin and yang. It's always a good side of something. It's always trying to find find the, when it's a bad side of something. You always trying to find the good side of something. When it's good, it's always got to be a little bad. It's kind of a balance. But you know, I'm trying to look. I'm like, dang, they still got skinny jeans and they still sagging. They just just constrict. They just destroying the whole culture. And hip hop ain't just about rap. It just ain't about R and B. It's just lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And then again, you got Gucci spitting in people's face. And people just don't have, you know, black people I'm talking about here, they don't have no sense of with Martin Luther King, Black Panthers, with uh, Malcolm X, with Tupac, what a lot of these dudes went through. And now they've really been led by fake activists. And we've really been led astray because they being funded by somebody higher up with a, a agenda to destroy hip-hop. And Eminem is just trying to stand there, sit there and protect the, the uh, genre or to protect the hip-hop culture in a genre of rap. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. These dudes know these dudes whack. Even even Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne used to be about bars. As soon as the Carter Three came, he was whack. And he's you know a, a lot of responsible for Young Thug and a lot of these dudes like that. These dudes are doing more singing on the track and more talk about smoking, uh, not even smoking weed. They talking about popping pills and stuff and just destroying the whole culture. So Justin Bieber shouldn't even have no opinion after what he said. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see if Eminem strike back. Good fella Sports TV. Don't forget you can check our sponsor out the Hellblaze at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing to eighteen percent off the hundred percent all natural products. Lotion soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, the whole nine hundred percent all natural products. Website promo code are both in the description. Go check them out. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. To reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request, and all those links in the description. You want to share? The, you want to donate? Just share the video. It's the best way to donate. One time for the one time. We gone.